Hey guys, welcome to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door Hardcore Mode. That is a long title. Yeah, we did um, the first one, so of course we're going to do the whole trilogy. And unlike the Mario 64 3D trilogy, I'm actually doing them in order. Oh shit, I forgot my memory card. Uh, what? <laughs> oh crap. Um, we'll do this first chat. I'll, I'll, we'll do this episode and then I will find it. Let's continue with that saying for a while. For now. Here we go. I will be me. Jet to the O to the E wall. What's up with this? Mail call! Ouija got it. Cool. Hey bro, check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I just read it to you, how's that sound? Well, Mario still hasn't learned to read. <laughs> now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, travelling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roadport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? Of course. Fine. I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Roadport. That means you must come, Peach. Peach is always trying to make me come! What do you know? It's true. There's a weather told map here with a letter. Check it out. Cool. A treasure map. Treasure. Awesome. Let's go get some treasure. Hey. Here we go, we married the thousand year door, everybody. Woo! Yay. Oh, the fucking water's like Wind Waker. Oh my god. Oh, it just makes me want to play Wind Waker even more. Definitely, it's definitely on my list. Welcome, chapter one. Here we go. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, it's that's Roadport. What? Oh shit, it is Roadport. It's a port full of rogues. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Here we are. Roadport. This is going to be a different kind of adventure. I must apologise, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you about all the sore details about Roadport on our way here, did I not? Mario don't care. What's that? I'm sorry. You say that there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. What kind of princess is hanging out, hang out here? basically what he's saying. Oh my god, we're playing this game. So, ah, sorry about the graphics, it's a bit, I know it's a bit fuzzy, but I've been having some capture card problems, so you're just gonna have to deal for this episode. Hopefully, whoops. What a great start. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to get it sorted for future episodes, but for now this is it. Okay, I guess I should explain the challenges. Um, so, in this first chapter, I have to, well, oh, right, oh shit, I can't save yet, can I? Alright, we'll have to leave it. 
gonna have to wing it and hope I don't die. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh god, who is this? Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've been walking around. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking. To be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right now! Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right for if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. Firebrand. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream! Really? Oh shit, what's this shit that's happening? Yo, bros. I'm gonna come say hey. Like I go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. <laughs> Not really. Not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? What? No, why would I do such a thing? Guys, always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumper bomb. Lord, now. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat with the details. Just jump on him and oh, hit me a hammer. All right, let's go. Fuck you. Sweet, you know that hurt. Well, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Thanks. Keep it up and you'll beat me in no time. Ow, oh, my face. Fuck. So basically, the challenge is that once I get the chance to, I have to always... Um, how am I going to do this, actually? I kind of like the idea of having a like five-minute interval between the challenges. So... And there are like three challenges in every chapter. Hmm. For now, I think... Well, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. We're just going to wing it now. We've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep weighing on him. Whoa, that fucked up the screen a little. I don't know if that was a capture card or if that was supposed to happen, but yeah. So we'll wait till chapter one. I'll figure something out. You did it, you did it. Yes, and you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know. I do. But you can get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Okay. Ba -da 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 We did it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. What the fuck? Oh god. Orgy. Punish him. Fuck, fuck. Oh god, no. Not like this. No. The man. Ah. What the fuck do I do? Ah, rape! Quick, this way. Um, freedom! Phew. What a bunch of loonies. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Sure, let's go. Let's get out of here. Fuck this place. Okay. Uh -huh. Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson! Johnson! <laughs> Did you see them? Did anyone? Um, see who? <laughs> Those idiots. Uh, crud, they bolted! That's funny. Wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. That looked like she was kissing me somewhere a lot below the face. Gum job? Gumba job. My name's Gumbala. I'm a student at the University of Goom. <laughs> nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? My name is Mario. Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Yep. Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Brokeport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't any, some legendary treasure here. Treasure, hey? I like treasure. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Yes. Whoa, whoa, Booker, what you got there? Magical map! It's magical and it's a map. Oh my gosh, is, is that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. I ain't gotta tell you anything, bitch. Princess Peach, what? Great Hoogly Boogly, if it isn't Master Mario! Uh, what the fuck's happening in the background? What the fuck? Stay down, bro! <laughs> the boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, punk? But of coincidence, bumping into... One another in this sort of place. Ho -ho. I'm still distracted by those dudes in the background. 
Should you tell me about Samaria? What in the world brings you to this wretched little bag? Blah, 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 blah. Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent your letter and a treasure map, and she told you she'd meet you here in Rayport. Intriguing. Yes, that's correct. You asked me where Princess Peach is? Oh, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh, shit! You know how strong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. What a fucking surprise. I believe I'll recline in the inner right over there. Enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in! Ho oh, ho! The puns! Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Ho, oh, I say. That's it, that's it. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean like Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? How many Princess Peaches are there? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koop King? The one you rescue? Yes, we just killed him! Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Yes, she did. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Hmm, that's also a possibility. Ooh, ooh, I know, Mario, come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Sure, great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombala, join my party. We got a party member already. Awesome. Goombala's about your primer. Excellent, yeah, so basically, she just, she, uh, you can just tattle with her, basically. And probably I won't be doing it. <laughs> just like in the last episode. Although I, we did we did tattle with Gumbario once. In the last fucking dungeon, Bowser's Castle. <laughs> so, yay. We tattled and Bowser's Castle. Yeah, we have to go find Professor Frankly as well. She's done this. Um, I think there's some stuff for me to do. Hello. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Whoops. Whoops. Ah, uh, idiot, you stepped on it. My poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? I was thinking, fuck you. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're going to pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. No way. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Fuck you. <sighs> okay, so basically, what are we doing? Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? Oh, yeah, yeah I know how to save. Fuck off. I'll save later. My capture card, not my cap, my memory card. The other card in my life. Whoa! Pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your brief, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Motherfucker. I'm gonna go kick his ass. That is so lame. Oh, I hate this town. Let's get on back. Fuck this. I didn't even get in with her. Oh, there's no spin attack in this one. There's a, a bunch of changes in this game. So basically, now my partners have HP. That's one thing. Um. There's a lot more like action commandy stuff too. Oops, uh, fancy me and you here. You're pretty darn persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, uh, you got me. I'll give you your coins back, here. Thank you. Now fuck you. Right, so we're gonna go do some things. Do some things together. I might as well explain what the challenges are for the first chapter before I decide how it's gonna work. Ooh, chest. That looks fun. I have to keep you, I always use FP. I'm not allowed to use my partner's attacks in battle. And I've got to try and avoid collecting anything. Oh, hi. There you are, Press Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You. No, you. Uh, I've seen that face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Gumbriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Gum. Hmm. Um... Aha, I got it! You're Gumbala, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? 
Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Gumbella, a junior at you Goom. You Goom. Go Goombas! So lame. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stick out. And that guy behind you is... Who? You suck. Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rayport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeology and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, who's, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to define the truth among them. Are they game theories? But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah! A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had the map. But we do have it, Professor. Oh, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Hurry, 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 Really? You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Yeah, fine, don't steal it or I will rip off your eyebrows! Stunning, this is it. The real thing, the one and only magical map. You sir, are my hero. You're great, That's fantastic, wonderful evil. Even with this, we can find the crystal star just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Kumbala, Mario, off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Let's go. Alright, I think I've decided how I'm going to do these challenges, but uh, it's not going to, we're not going to be able to do anything with them until all of this cutscene crap finishes. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> oh, we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on a sec. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You know your acting commands, of course. Really? Master, are you? Okay. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, balls, I don't want to do this tutorial. I'm... God damn it. Fine game. I know how to do this. There. Okay, so, yeah. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just the um, action commands are a little bit easier in this game. And there's, like, stylish moves, which give you more star power, so that'll help us out, I reckon. And now it's going to show me how to hammer... Some of the action commands are a bit different as well, like some of the part, well, pretty much all the partners have completely new way, new things to do. And they're not, because a lot of the ones in the original Paper Mario, they reuse the same, like, little mini game thing. But this one, this game, I'm never only good at the guards, but this game, um, every, every, pretty much every partner has got their own unique little mini games going with it. Right. So basically, I think until I get... Oh, right, there's no memory card. Okay, I'll keep forgetting that. I'm just used to seeing save blocks and saving. Um, hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? Um, what's up, baby? Why don't you hang out with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel, like, totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. Burn. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody sings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him! Oh, you want to go? You want to roll, do you? Goomba, spiny Goomba. All right, yeah. It's just telling us how to beat them. I can do this. I know all of this. I don't need to listen to this field. I want to fucking play this game. Come on. 
been like 20 minutes and we've done nothing. Damn game. Literally, there's no all right. So I'm not gonna make Gumbari do anything. Gumbella, I mean, do anything because the challenge, one of the challenges is partners do nothing until, and until I can, so I, well, I guess she'll just defend. Um. Oh wow. And until I can use FP attacks, I'm just gonna get her to defend some more. Yep. Oh, that's still got her. Okay. I'm gonna hammer this dude. Fuck you! Fuck you. There we go. Owie! Sucks to be you guys! Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they have come from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Got it. So yeah, um... So another, I guess another thing this game has that uh, the original didn't, is like we can't... Uh, leave me alone. Alright, fine. We will strike first. That was easy. Oh, it's in the... Okay. Yeah, so at the moment, Gumbella's doing nothing, and we're trying to avoid coins. Yeah? Can we do that? I don't know. We'll do them in five minute intervals, so at the moment, Gumbella's doing nothing. Which means I can take this coin, that's no problem. Cool. So I reckon every five minutes, the challenge is going to change. And at the moment, we're just going to alternate between um, a... Um, oh, what the fuck is that? I don't know. Whoa! A lot of things just happened there. So, there are two challenges that we can use so far in this playthrough until I get something that can do FP damage. And they are partners do nothing, which is one of them. And the other one is try not to collect any coins, items or badges. And so... For one more minute, Gumbala's not allowed to do anything. Oh, less than a minute, actually. Oh, shit. I got first strike. In f I think in future episodes, I'll have a proper timer and everything for these challenges. So they'll work a bit better. Ow. Oh, shit, I'm in trouble. My banking commands aren't working. I'm gonna switch. We're gonna switch, I reckon. That's the other thing that's not in Paper Mario that you can do in this. You can switch your partners around so I can have Gumbala in front and she'll take all the damage. So it's a good idea if I want to protect Mario, because if you remember the Lava Piranha from Paper Mario 1, that was fucking tough, Jesus. That took me an hour to figure out how to beat. And I'll be very surprised if I don't struggle just as much in this one. Cool. There was a thing in the Bowser, Bowser's Castle in Paper Mario that reminded me of this game, because there's like a whole paper or walls pulling off kind of thing which doesn't happen a lot in Paper Mario, and it happens loads in this game. Anyway, oh, what the hell's this? Whoa! Hey, hey, you, can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend, Link. I'm Link, but I'm Mario. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Uh, wrong game, dude. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. Uh, that means something different in this country. <laughs> I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Oh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Um, Ultrat. I just said it out loud, what's wrong with me? You are an idiot. Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this box. Then use it let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Oh, more fucking telling me what it looks like with your speech. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on. Being stuck in a box is no, pin it, is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. All right. Here it is. As you can tell, I've played this game before, but I'm... I'm not spoiling anything, so I'm just gonna go with the flow. Hup, 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 hup. Yo, bro, I got you your thing. Whoa, 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 you brought the key. Yes, oh man, are you big? Here you go. 
Yes! Thank, uh, ha! Thank nothing! Wee hee hee! Fools! What the? Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah. Sorry, but those are the rakes. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly woogly woo! You're cursed! What the? Wee hee hee! Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved! You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then just listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper aeroplane. Ha <laughs> ha, trembling yet? So for the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee hee hee hee. Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. I have chortles. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I, I suppose I owe it to explain to you to explain it. Ready? Stand on an airplane panel like this one. The floor will dart to glow. Yeah, okay. You're on the panel. Let's try pressing Y. And bam, you're a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left or right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. To be honest, I, I, yeah, I get it, it was terrible. Wee, if you press B, you might return to normal, maybe. Fair you fools. Wee! So, you turned me into an aeroplane. So, uh, wow, just wow, what was that guy's beef? That guy has lots of beef. Beef, beef, and lots of beef. Right, obviously now we can do this little thing here. I think we have a little bit of time. And we're also avoiding coins and items. Um, yeah. It's not really going to affect us much at the moment. Alright, here we go. I think in future episodes I will, like, have the challenges, like, one change once a turn. So, like, uh, well, I'm, I don't know, I'm stuck at explaining. Uh, I'll show you in the next episode. I suck at this. Oh, Mario, Gumbala, look at that! <sighs> it's the thousand year door spoken of in the legend. Like, I believe it's real. He said the name of the game! Uh, he said it. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Yes, let's. Mario's knackered already. Jesus. Hey, what's the deal with that? With this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, do you think? It's a pedestal that I jump on. What's going on now? Oh shit. Oh, that's a good thing about this. There's not going to be any glitchy moments. Those are wild annoying in Paper Mario. Cool. <sighs> Professor, what's going on? Um. Oh shit. Dun, 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 dun. What the fuck? Some, a castle has appeared on the map. Cool. On my magic map. Right. That's pretty cool. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario's learned a new special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. This is Sweet Treat. I kept saying it in like the last few episodes of Paper Mario. Um, This is Sweet Treat. It's... Uh, Professor, the map. I'm almost with all those crazy lights. It's a rave! Hmm. It appears that information relating to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, blah, blah, blah. We've got to go back to the place of things and stuff. And sauce. Hmm. Aha, I see. I can see clearly now. Do you understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it is. It, uh, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Nope, I know what to do. It's very important. Nope. You're absolutely sure. Alright then. Let's have a look at that magic map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadport. 
To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. Also, Gumbella, you're a sassy bitch. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get the map, anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach? <laughs> did it again! This Princess Peach in my speech bubble? <laughs> yes. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal cells and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. How did you get through the plumbing? You know, Professor, there was another suspicious thing group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows you two go. Princess Peach indeed went there. Your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end. And that end is Princess Peach. Are you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old gumbard like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. We sure are. I need to heal. We've got some other stuff to do. Wait just a moment. Oh, God. What else has he got? Oh, shit. Got power smash. Mario's scary out there. Take this with you. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to... Nope. I know how to put a badge on. Fuck off. By the way, you need FP to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find the pipe to Battle Meadows. Right! That's going to do it for this episode of the Thousand Year Door Hardcore Mode. I'm pretty much just going to call it that because the title's too long. Um, next episode, I'll explain how the challenges are going to work. And we'll go to Petal Meadows. See you guys! <laughs>